everybody. It's Michelle and I've got another punch art flower that I want to show you guys today. Today we're going to be doing a daisy. You may have seen my recent video with the punch art purple cone flower. I had so much fun with that but as I got to looking at it I thought if this center was just larger this would be a great daisy as well. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a daisy for you guys too. So of course I'm using white flower petals and again that's with the long skinny oval from my McGill vintage label punch and I will leave you guys a link to as many products as I can that I'm using in this today so I've just got white cardstock in that long oval and I cut out looks like about eight there I don't know how many I'll use I think I do want a side view just like we had on our cone flower but maybe not quite as droopy. I wanted it to be a little perkier. And I use the same vintage label oval for my flower center so that I get more of a wide, flat flower center. And instead of that droopy curve from the rainbow die that I used for the stem on my cone flower, I'm just going to use a straight strip of scrap green patterned paper that I had. We're just going to arrange our flower petals. First of all, let me give them a little bit of dimension too. I think I'm going to use a very light gray alcohol marker just to give a little bit of dimension to those edges. And it doesn't have to be much. This is a very, very light gray. This is from my Arteza Grays set. And that's in the color snow so it's very very light I just want enough to maybe look like a little bit of a shadow around the edges to give some dimension just to help visually separate those petals so they don't all kind of blend in together and you could do this with ink as well like I did on the cone flower with the purple ink Whatever you've got that's the right color that you need. You could even color lightly around the edges with some colored pencils. Just whatever gives that little bit of dimension. And again, I don't know how many petals I'm going to be using. I'm just going to see when I'm happy with it. Just use as many as I think looks good. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of a gray shadow around the edge of my flower center too. Okay, and we're ready to start assembling. I'm going to do just like I did on the cone flower. I'm going to lay them out and use my washi tape to hold them. Okay, I think that's going to be a good daisy. That's a side view like we had on our cone flower, but not quite as droopy. It's a little perkier, and it looks like I used about six of those petals. So I'm going to take my washi tape again and just tape it straight across. And that will hold everything in position so I can get some glue in between. And I think I'm going to use one of my Dollar Tree foam tabs. It's a good size to fit it already and it's white. I didn't want to use the black ones like before because it might show through. My flower center here is just a little section of a yellow watercolor background. So I didn't want something dark that may show through that. Okay. So now I'm just going to remove my washi tape and place that on there. 
Again, I want a little bit lower profile than what I had with my cone flower. And it's barely catching the edges there. I'm going to put my release paper back on that until I'm ready to stick it down to probably a scrapbook page. And this time I'm just going to use a straight stem because daisies are a little perkier. So I'm just going to put my art glitter glue on the top part of my stem. And stick that right down. There we go. I think that looks good. I'm happy with that placement, so I'm going to leave it right like that. And there is your daisy flower. And again, you could use more little strips to create some grass at the bottom. But it's just another fun idea of how to create a flower with some simple ovals. So be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.